to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free Last week, after visiting with our new friends Mark and Sue, we drove down to Panama City to stay the night at the Cracker Barrel to help shorten our long trip the next day from the Redneck Riviera to Fort DeSoto Campground. Well, we're gonna go down uh, 98, also called 30, see what kind of beautiful sights we can see along the coast. It's gonna take us a little bit longer. I'm not sure exactly how far out. I'm guessing about an hour out going this route, other than taking the, the interstate. But hopefully it'll be worth it. It's always worth it when you're seeing something different. Mm -hmm. Even in Iowa. It's a nice sunny day, at least here. It is, yes, finally. It was 33 when we woke up or this morning. It's 47 right now, Panama City. I just thought, do you want me to drive? Because as we're going down, the coast will be on this side we'll and then you the can road. get video footage from over here. Sure, that would work good. Turn gonna... right, then turn right. We're going to get diesel here. It's at 385 for TSD cars. There's nothing in this area it's, since we're not around the interstate. But on Gas Buddy, this actually showed as the cheapest too in this area. So we're going to go ahead and we got a half a tank, but we might as well just top it off. Mm -hmm. And uh, while we can save some money, giddy up, baby, giddy up. Yeehaw. Woo. Now we're talking. season we like to listen to the like Christmas music on Sirius XM. Can't play that while on the video of course because YouTube would flag it but just kind of giving you an idea of how our trip goes and what we do besides arguing we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, listen to Christmas music a lot. A lot like it's very well, cheerful. It's good that you're into it as well because like I can listen to it all day long. There's a couple other friends that we want to meet around Tampa, Pat and Carol. Hey guys. We're kind of in a hurry, but yeah, we don't want to miss out on some sights. If we wanted to get down there quicker, we would have took 10 over and then came down, um, just did the interstate. Should we try this little hole in the wall barbecue place? As long as we won't be dinner. Yeah. Found this little barbecue place. Had good reviews, but not hardly anybody here though. They got knockers here, honey. Today I'm eating really healthy. I'm having nachos. I guess I have pulled pork. And Michelle's having a pulled pork sandwich. That's a small order and that's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Did you get just chips with your sandwich? Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, okay. Looks good. I put some barbecue sauce about the last half of it, and that really it. made it, yeah, a lot better. But it's worth a stop if you want some barbecue, definitely. Mm -hmm. Your sandwich is only $7.99 for a pulled pork, pork sandwich and chips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was good. Yeah. The, the, um, nachos i got that was a small and it was pretty good size for 10.99 all right ready to get going mm -hmm.
So we came to Fort DeSoto, took a look at the showers. Michelle's not fond of the showers here. <laughs> so we went ahead and checked online and uh, was able to get into an Encore uh, up, uh, it's a suburb of Tampa. So we're gonna go up there. We, uh, a couple of our friends, uh, Pat and Carol, are up there staying too. So we're gonna go up there for five, uh, five nights before we go over to uh, Thousand Trails or Orlando. This campground is really cool, actually. Y'all tucked into these all these palm trees, and we'll give you a quick uh, quick browse around. Then we need to get going. They may not uh, refund us our money. I'm not sure, but even if they don't, the other campgrounds uh, free anyway. So we really aren't losing anything other than the fact that we should have not made this reservation. Real quickly here, we got up this morning early so that we can get up here and get parked uh, before we had to start working. So we're over here at a Lowe's parking lot and uh, we just pulled in here because it's too early to check in at our RV resort, but we are right next door to the RV resort, which is right behind me here on the other side of the parking lot. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna work and then we'll check in over there later. We had a short work week with it being Christmas Eve tomorrow, which gives us an extra long weekend for filming. Today we're going to go check out downtown Tampa. The weather is cool and dreary and rainy and blah. Our first stop is a highly rated and unique coffee shop in downtown Tampa called Ginger Beard Coffee. Not much area to park here. Can't believe we got that in. Wowzers. Oh, here it is. Ginger Beard Coffee. They have beers and they have coffees. They're known for their cold brew coffees. Right, but this is hot. They do have hot. And their cold brew coffees are nitrogen infused, which mm -hmm. makes the uh, caffeine like... More intense. And he gave me four shots already. 
for four samples, but I called them shots because I was like, can you tell I've already had some? <laughs> All kinds of stickers on here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, oh my goodness, somebody put our sticker there. <laughs> we are at Ginger Beard. <laughs> <laughs> So, what is it? We, we heard online about your coffees here. In yeah, so China. we uh, specialize in nitrogen-infused cold brew coffees. Um, we don't do any ice drinks, so to combat that, we did uh, what we call draft lattes. So basically, we take a keg of our cold brew, we add, uh, our seasonal is gonna be like a peppermint mocha. So we add the peppermint mocha, we add a little bit of oat milk um, and a keg of our cold brew, and then it's just on tap. Uh, we have our single origin, which is just gonna be a regular nitrogen cold brew. It's a Mexico Peru blend. It's just our uh, our house blend. We've had it for seven years. Then we have a less caffeinated peanut butter, since the single origin and the regular are a little bit more aggressively caffeinated. We have a less caffeine peanut butter for people who can't handle caffeine as well. Uh, we have our single origin. This month is an Ethiopian Sadamo. It's going to taste like strawberry jam. One of the craziest coffees we've had. And then the one we can't get rid of, it's our peanut butter draft latte. Ooh. We start with an extract, uh, peanut butter extract that's used in brewing. So even if you're allergic to peanuts, it won't affect you at all. A little bit of oat milk, a little bit of simple syrup. Uh, comes out uh, very velvety smooth. Think Guinness, but more coffee. Uh, so it does that. And then... Is that because of the nitrogen? Infused? Yeah, the nitrogen, yeah. it's a smaller molecule than like a CO2. So it's more velvety, smooth, better mouthfeel. We do espresso drinks, drip coffee. We're located in Tampa, Florida down in like the channel side district. Well, and you have beer over there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the poor house, uh, we're inside of a craft beer and wine bar, which apparently is like a big thing now where coffee shops are moving into craft beer and wine bars. Uh, they've been open 13 years uh, at this location, uh, poor house, Tampa. Mm -hmm. And then we've moved in s July will be eight years and we've been here ever since. Well, thanks. Those yeah, coffees yeah. are very good. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I can attest for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing your Elvis impersonation? Yeah. Is, that, is that the caffeine? You know, it's funny. Elvis actually, the wood that's lining the bottom yes. is from a uh, is from a dance hall in Nashville that Elvis danced on. Really? Yeah. So. As the saying goes, one thing leads to another. Josh from Gingerbeard Brew suggested we check out a place called Armature Works. There are four guest parking lots in the Heights parking garage that closely surround Armature Works. All lots aside from the 220 lot offer free parking Monday through Friday before 4 p.m. on non-event days. The Heights Parking Garage offers 90 minutes of free parking during these days. Parking during special events and holidays varies. Armature Works is a fully restored mixed-use building that breathes new life into the historic Tampa Heights neighborhood. So far, we're lost. <laughs> it looks like you just got to kind of walk around and see what all they have. But um, where should we start first? Oh, I, don't know where I know there's a restaurant here. It looks like Chinese. With its unobstructed view of the Hillsboro River, the historic structure has been reinvented as a premier community destination with innovative eateries, Heights Public Market, and reimagined event spaces. called a BYO bowl from this place right here. Because we're grazing. We're grazing, okay. Gotcha. Well, we got... yours has spinach and mine has potatoes as, a, as our base. But... Spinach and, uh, should be spinach and egg, bacon. We got the roasted tomatoes, tomatoes, roasted peppers and onions. Yeah. And you're pretty much the same, except you got potatoes. Right, potatoes instead of spinach.
feels nice out right now. I believe this is what they call the, the end of the river walk, which the river walk will go all the way down. Really cool yeah. little area here, isn't it? Very nice. Turned out to be pretty nice right now. Right now, yeah. There's Humpty Dumpty <laughs> sitting on a wall. Cool. Had enough of that cold wind. Yeah. Next one is a hotel that used to be, I believe, the old Federal Building years ago. We'll tell you more here in a little bit. This is a century-old federal courthouse that's been transformed into a hotel. Rocky, run up the steps. <laughs> There's not that many steps. Perfect. During our search to find something unique and interesting in downtown Tampa, we learned about the La Meridian Tampa. The La Meridian Tampa is a transformed historic one-time federal courthouse featuring stunning architecture, marble hallways, and original oak doors from when the building was erected in 1905. It is now a 130-room boutique hotel mixed with contemporary culture and its European heritage. The hotel features luxurious accommodations, meeting and event space, a fitness center, and a redefined version of the traditional hotel lobby. Have you reached a verdict? Guilty! Guilty, guilty, guilty. Me? You're guilty, stealing all the pies. She's guilty, she's guilty. Well, that was pretty much all we could see <laughs> of Le Meridien. Pretty cool though. Oh look, that squirrel. Oh. Well, oh. Hey, you can't ride that. You gotta pay, buddy, if you wanna ride that. It's supposed to be an old theater down here also. We were sitting in the van and we're like, we paid for this parking. Anything else to go see? So we looked on the map near the theater. Well, how far is it? It's right here behind us, like right here. Built in 1926, the Tampa Theater is one of America's most elaborate movie palaces and a beloved community landmark. Visitors to the theater enjoy world-class entertainment under a realistic night sky with twinkling stars in a romantic Mediterranean courtyard replete with old world statues, flowers, and gargoyles. By the 1960s, times had changed. The rise of television and migration to the suburbs had a profound impact on the movie palaces. Audiences dwindled, costs rose, and many of our nation's finest movie palaces were demolished. In 1973, Tampa Theater faced the same fate, but Tampa's citizens rallied. Committees and community leaders got involved and soon reached a deal with the city to rescue the theater. Today, the theater is managed by the not-for-profit Tampa Theater Foundation, and it's one of the most heavily utilized venues of its kind in the United States. Tampa Theater's single auditorium hosts more than 700 events each year. Ready for our next stop? Yeah, where are we going? Somewhere warm. During our search for something unique, we heard about a hotel called The Addition. It is only the fifth of its kind in the United States. So we thought we'd check it out to see what's so special about this hotel and share it with our viewers since many of you stay in hotels when you travel, not RVs.
The addition is a luxurious 172 pet-friendly room retreat that boasts luxurious ambiance. It is located on Channel Side Drive in the Water Street neighborhood in downtown Tampa, Florida. My, what do we have here, Michelle? rates for the month of February and the cheapest rate was $717 a night for a single king bed guest room and rates range all the way up to $11,760 per night for a penthouse with one king size bed. The addition is a beautiful property but we were shocked by their rates which are unrealistic for most. Broke that out and got a a little bit of a dent here. We were downtown Tampa, uh, parked in this area. There was some construction going on and we got a parking spot right by an old car. Parked pretty close. Didn't hit it, of course, but it was one of the construction guys' cars. You can tell there was a bunch of them coming in and out of these vehicles here. But we just drove down here and pulled in and looked at the back and noticed somebody came along and hit the back with something. My guess is the guy got mad because we were parked close, even though he didn't leave before we left. But anyway, we came down here. Noticing that, we were parked here. Michelle comes in the back and she's watching for me to make sure that we can get out of this spot here. And she goes up to the front and says we're all okay. And we pull out in the back of the van, tail light, hits this. Well, that pretty much puts a damper on the day. Yes, it does. We're both sick to our stomachs. It's supper time and neither one of us is very hungry. No. Not a huge thing. It's not like an accident, thankfully. It's just... I should have been looking in that darn mirror. Shell was looking. She gets in. I think we're all ready to go. And the tail swing hits that little pole back there. Forgot about that little pole. Well, that pretty much ruins the whole Christmas weekend. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.